Butler men's soccer coming off a 6-0 win over Richmond on Friday. Took on a very good VCU team on Sunday at the Butler Bowl. The Bulldogs played the Rams evenly and defended really well, but ended up losing 1-0. A real tough loss. That's a very good team. Uh, possessed the ball really well. They knock it around and they got a lot of talented individuals. We knew that. We knew they were going to be a really tough team to beat today. But the boys defended well. VCU came into Sunday's match as one of the Atlantic 10's highest scoring teams, but the Bulldogs stood strong on defense. Butler held Rams standout Jason Johnson in check, and the match was scoreless at halftime and into the second half. The Bulldogs did manage a few dangerous chances. In the second period, here's Zach Steinberger on a free kick. Two Bulldogs get ahead on it, and finally, a VCU defender is able to clear it. Jeff Adkins, a left-footed cross into the box, stopped again by the VCU keeper. And Austin Oldham on a run, left wing, shoots just wide of the net. He scored two goals against Richmond on Friday. 80th minute, here's the game winner. A Butler player actually kicks it off of the face of VCU's Daniel Castillo into the net, and that was the difference, your final at the Butler Bowl. VCU won, Butler nil. Butler goalkeeper John Dawson made six saves on the day, very active in the net, and was in control most of the afternoon. Looked like John was in control, you know, when they were shooting, and he, had, he wasn't fumbling everything. He looked like he was having a good game, and John's normally very good on crosses. Tough loss for the team today. You know, if we're critical, we had the chances, and you got to take them, you know, and they had a few. If you look at the stat sheet, they had way more corners. And uh, they had some more chances, but I don't think it was like they totally dominated the game.